Hello, it's Afro DJ Mac here, and I've got a new Ableton Live tip for you. This time we're going to talk about getting external instruments into live using MIDI. Um, right here I'm going to use as an example the Synth Boy. And I want to thank Chris over at Synth Boy for giving this to me uh, to play around with and show you guys how it works. It's a really cool thing. If you know me, I'm into my 8-bit sounds, and uh, this thing is pure beauty. And I've got some effects running on it, just so you know I got a delay, but I'll let you hear it try. And I'm playing it a little fast, just so you can hear that like it picks up very well. Not really getting any dropped out notes. So it sounds awesome. Anyway, um, here's how you do it. Um, you're just going to take the external instrument, which is inside your library under instrument, you just drag it in here. And all you gotta do is uh, select your audio interface MIDI out right here, which is my Mode 2 Ultralight. And um, I've got that MIDI cable plugged from my Mode 2 into the back of the Synth Boy. So um, there are different channels you can choose in the Synth Boy S5. You just heard channel one, um, channel two, for instance. It's a little different. You can have different settings on it. Channel 3 is the triangle wave. So there's a bunch. There's the noise channel as well. So you can basically, you know, cycle through these things and select whichever channel is that you want to have. You know, old video game explosions here. We're going to stick with, uh, we'll do channel 1 for now. And, um, so you select where your MIDI's going out, and then I have the output of the Synth Boy plugged into audio input eight on my ultralight. So you'll see that that eight gets level whenever I play. So that's the one we want is eight. And I got some makeup gain right here, which we definitely don't need because this thing outputs some nice level. And you got some latency too to play around with if you're getting some delay um, on your hardware. Messing around with that can, can set you up. So the cool thing about doing this is, and I've got a little, this is the track I've got here. And just so you know, I've got this routed into another track called Live Instruments. And this is where all the effects are. So the fun thing you can do is have this particular synth, which I have to select, so you hear it. And I can put all these different effects on it inside Ableton that the Synth Boy doesn't have on its own. Here's a low pass filter with some delay. I'm going to turn that delay off and give you the filter back, high pass. So this is the cool part is it opens up so many worlds of sonic capabilities. The Synth Boy on its own, you know, is a, the Game Boy is a very limited it, type of uh, synthesizer, it's not really a synth, but you know, the sound card is very limited, but by throwing it through live, you can really add some cool dimensions to it. And that's all using the external instrument plugin. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching and enjoy.